18 years is an extremely long time. Eighteen years when you get up at three thirty in the morning, that's a lot of that's a lot of time. If you think about how many things have happened in eighteen years. Eighteen years is a long time to do anything. In 18 years, I mean, you know, we, we've gone through, you know, several presidents. Uh, we have uh, uh, changed quite a bit uh, as a society. You know, my, my role when the show first began was I was the fun-loving engineer that stuck his head in for colorful comments and quips. Uh, you know, it started out, it's almost like the show, like, say, the first five years, you would almost think it seems like it's been longer than that. Then, almost like your children growing up, you know, once it hit about 10 or 11, the last seven years seemed real fast. It, it, it is fun. We look forward to coming to work. Now, I hate getting up, but when I get here, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, the people we work with become like family. You know, they say you pick your friends, you can't do anything about your family, so that may be the case. We've had a lot of fun. We've, uh, you know, the first time we threw food off the roof, uh, making appearances on national TV shows have been fun. We have had a lot of fun going to ball games and Super Bowls, and we've met a lot of nice people, all because of the listeners. Nothing we've done, but because of what they've done. What motivates me is, number one, it's, it's one of the things I always want to do from the time I was a child, and, and the fact that God has, has allowed that, you know? I mean, he said, okay, do it. And uh, so it's hard for me to complain when it's something I've always wanted to do. We had a very difficult time when Rick lost his son and that was very trying, but it also was a unifying moment. So I, I think that everybody rose to the occasion for that. And, uh, and, it, and it definitely has been a, a marker and an influence on us all as to, to what we do and why we do it. You know, there's Rick and Bubba before my son died and there's Rick and Bubba after he died. They're, they're different, but they should be. I'm not saying that negatively. I think in a lot of ways, it's we're, we're better than we were. And I remember looking at my boots because it was cold that day because he died in the winter. And I was trying to put my boots on. I, could, I couldn't do it. And I just said, look, I, I can't go do this show. I can't. I don't know how you expect me to go in there and talk and, and do this again. And, uh, and the Lord comforted me. And he said, well, now you're ready. Now you're ready to do the show. Because for the first time in your entire career, you're totally dependent on me to do what you love for a living. The other thing that motivates me are the emails and, and the, that we get of people who say, you know, I was down and out today because um, I just needed something. And when I turn on the show, this happened. You made me laugh or you made me think or uh, you comforted me and you said something I needed to hear. Uh, when you hear those stories, you know, you realize it's a lot bigger deal than just you're in your room and the alarm clock is going off. There's a lot of people depending on you and, and they need the show. You have your, you have your immediate family, uh, you have your extended family, and then you have this gigantic family, uh, the Rick and Bubba family. In this case, it's not like 18 years. It's like we just started. We have fun every day, love coming to work, don't like getting up early. I think we would be hilarious noon to two. We've seen a lot of things, some of it hard, some of it fun. The future is, is something that's out in front of us. Yeah, it's been a long time, but it's, it's uh, when you're doing something you love, you kind of want to keep lasting, don't you? Roll, cut one.